Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 66. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. <laughs> Today is January 5th. This is my first episode of 2019. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to talk about today. I do have um, three finished objects, a couple whips, and that's pretty much it. I don't really have any acquisitions. I think uh, I got a crochet hook for Christmas. I might show that to you if I could find it uh, in my hook bag without having to pour the whole thing out. But yeah, so I'm probably just going to hop on in. Um, Christmas and all that, you know, was good, and New Year's was good, so things are getting back to normal now, and so I'm going to try to get back to a regular weekly uh, no catch name episode and then other videos thrown in here and there so I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my finished objects one of them I don't have with me and I don't have any pictures of it but it was uh, the shawl I was making for my mom which was a treasure island shawl by Hannah at the Co cozy cottage crochet it's a paid for pattern but it's totally worth it uh, I made it for my mom not for Christmas but before Christmas um, at a knit crate yarn it was September's knit crate I believe it was uh, knitology, no, I don't think it was knitology, it was uh, that weird one, I can't remember now, but the color was ta taper nod, topper nod, it was like olive color, and she liked it a lot. Uh, it did come out kind of camo looking, but she still liked it, so yeah, I don't have any pictures of it, but it is finished and gifted. <laughs> uh, my next finished object was just a random... Thing. I'm trying to go through my yarn on this side is a bunch of the weird yarns like the variegated and um, the fuzzy yarns and stuff like that I'm trying to go through that kind of yarn and use it up that was actually one of my goals from last year and I'm gonna carry that into this year too and I will have a goals video coming out pretty soon about that but um, I had four balls of a clearance out yarn from Hobby Lobby it was yarn B I did keep one bend <laughs> Uh, it was Yarn B Soft and Sleek Low Peel Fiber. Uh, it was originally $3.99 a ball, but when it was clearanced out during that big sale they had last summer, it was only $0.99 cents a ball. So, uh, it's a size 4, I think. I ripped it right on the... Yeah, it was a size 4, 208 yards per uh, ball, and like I said, I had 4 of them. Yeah, but it was this yarn. It is clearanced out, and the color is just pink and blue. <laughs> because it's pink and blue yarn. So I just made a baby blanket with it. I think it's really cute. It's basically double crochets and then it has like, okay, my camera just fell. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, so the angle might be a little different. Anyways, I'll show you this baby blanket. <laughs> Let me try to show it to you again. I think I pulled on my microphone cord and it caused it to fall. And what I was saying is it's basically just double crochets and like, uh, I think they're called double crochets crochet clusters or shells it's just two double crochets chain two two double crochets very easy pattern it was mindless I just sat and worked it up super fast went through all the balls super quick um, and that pattern is called sweet baby blanket by crochet styles for you blog it's a free pattern <coughs> uh, I made it just as like an extra baby blanket to have around in case someone has a baby I've already got one put up and then I have this one and this one's pretty gender neutral I know some people still don't like to use pink for boys, but I mean, a color is a color. And uh, Jesse wears pink, and he likes some uh, girly things, you know, that's normally girly. But yeah, so it's just a cute baby blanket to have on hand in case someone has a baby. <clears throat> My last finished object, it's finished, but it's part of a bigger thing. It's actually part of a calendar blanket that was, oh, I just shook the table. <laughs> That was hosted by Jada in Stitches two years ago. It was her calendar blanket for 2017. And I've always liked it and wanted to start it. So I did start it in January and this is the January square. And I had thought that maybe I would, um, you know, do a square a month just like it was intended. But I've been done with this one for a few days because I did. I made this one I think on the second. And I'm kind of already wanting to make another square. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and make it just on my own time. Not rush to get it done, but not also procrastinate it and wait once a month to make a square. So I did make the um, January square, and I made it all in Red Heart Super Saver. Let me tell you the pattern. Oh, I don't have it. Yeah, right here. It's the on Ravelry. It's listed as a snowman blanket square by Jaden Stitches, but like I said, it's part of a blanket. So there's uh, 12 squares and then a border. 
and the squares are themed to the months, you know, kind of. So snowman is for winter in January, at least in our area. <laughs> so this is the square. I think it turned out really cute. But yeah, it's just Red Heart Super Saver. White, light blue, black, uh, cherry red, and I can't remember this orange. I think it's called carrot. I'm not sure which would be appropriate. But yeah, it's just the square is made. You start with white, and then you change to blue, and then the border is in uh, grain square. And you can do the border any way you want, obviously. She did it in grain square so that she could tie it all together at the end with a with white also. So this, I just went ahead and decided to do that. And then all these little pieces are... Um, made separately and sewed on so it was really cute really quick I made the square in one setting one night and then it got distracted and then the next day I um, I started it on New Year's Day and then the second I made all the little bits and sewed them on in like 30 minutes of that super quick and easy and this would even be cute I think as a blanket itself you know if you made a bunch of these squares made 12 of them or however many and maybe made the faces slightly different make them look like they're looking in different directions or something or different color you know scarves and stuff it would be cute as a winter blanket or any of the squares really I'm, I didn't look ahead but I imagine the next one's something to do with Valentine's Day but um, I can't remember I'm sure it's something Valentine's Day so yeah I'm just gonna I don't think I'm gonna block it at all I don't block anything I've only blocked two things my entire crocheting life and they were both Treasure Island shawls from uh, Hannah's pattern the one the first one was one that I tested for her and the second one was the one for my mom I blocked it just because it came out a lot smaller than my original one and I wanted to make it a smidge bigger but um, I'm not really I don't really care if things aren't perfectly square or whatever I mean I guess if I ever made a doily I would want to block it open so you could see all the little holes but like this this is gonna be a functional blanket so I'm just gonna make all the squares sew them together put a border on it and wash it and it'll be throwing over a couch or something it's actually going to get used so it doesn't need to be perfectly square it doesn't need to look pretty you know it doesn't well perfect it's going to look pretty because it's going to be a crochet blanket but it doesn't have to be like judge worthy unless i put it in the fair i could put it in the fair because it would probably come out the size that could be eligible for a uh, baby blanket size <laughs> i don't know I'm going to have a fair video coming out soon too because it's that time of the year again for me here. Our fair is in August and so I, I usually start planning for it in January. That gives me about eight months to, um, it's not in August, it's at the very end of August. It's usually the very last day of August into September or the first day of September on. But uh, that gives me like eight months to prepare for it. So I'm already thinking about it. But anyways, this is this cute banner. So hopefully I'll have... I will probably have the next one next week because I'm wanting to work on it. <laughs> I'll probably finish this blanket a lot sooner than um, December. But I love blankets. I'm on a blanket kick. I was on an amigurumi kick a couple weeks ago and now I'm making blankets. And uh, I do that. I just flip flop. Alright, that is all of my finished objects. Um, I, I hope to have more. Actually, I wanted to finish my hippo. Uh, that I'll show you in a minute as a whip, but we ended up getting sick here uh, right after Christmas. Me and Devin came back from our trip on New Year's, or not New Year's, Christmas Eve. Then we went to his dad's house and we were around a little sick girl there. <laughs> and I think she's the one that got us all sick, which is fine, you know what happens. But cause, because on Christmas Day, we both started getting, you know, gunky and Devin, or Jesse was getting runny nose and then it just kind of lasted for like a week and a half. <laughs> we're just now getting over it 100%. Like we're still in the 90s percent. I'm still kind of gross every now and then and Jesse's nose is still running, but I think that's normal for a toddler. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. I didn't get as much done as I'd hoped to get done, but that's okay. I'm going to show you my whips. I have two whips. One is the hippo, and one is a new whip I started last night. Just because uh, it was from yarn from over here that I'm wanting to try to use up, and I've had it forever. And I wanted to make a blanket out of it, but I would have had to buy more yarn. There's a helicopter going over. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> we live close to the hospital, so we hear life flat a lot. I'm trying to get his head out of the bag. But, um... So I just decided to make smaller stuff with the cakes that I had. But this is my hippo. Its pattern is the Happy Hippo by Heart and Soul. And that's so like S-E-W, so. Um, it is a free pattern. I, know, I think I got all those bits off. Last time I showed it, which was a couple weeks ago, I had its head done, which I still do, <laughs> and its ears, and its little nostrils. And I was working on its belly 
which I'm still working on. I haven't touched it at all. And I've got this stitch marker on it from uh, Carla. She sent it to me in my Christmas card. It's a little reindeer. Oh uh, yeah, so I haven't touched it at all. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. And we got sick and all that, so I just, it wasn't even on my mind. And then I started making blankets. <laughs> so, um, I will go back and finish it, probably. I'm not going to say this week for sure, but maybe. I don't know. We'll just see. We shall see next weekend. I'm going to try to have my No Catch Name episodes come out on Saturdays again, like I used to. But it all depends on Jesse and editing and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so I'm making him just out of um, Red Heart Super Saver uh, Light Blue, which is was gifted to me forever ago when I was pregnant. I have like four of these big jumbo balls of it, so I'm trying to use it up. And I thought blue would be a cute hippo. And then I'll probably make some sea creatures or something out of it. And yeah, try to use up some of this yarn that I've had forever so that I can make new room for new yarn later this year. I'm actually on a temporary yarn ban or like craft supplies ban, and I will talk about that in my goals video that will be coming out soon. Okay, my last whip is going to be for me. It's just a just because <laughs> project that I found something that I like and I wanted to make it. Um, I wanted to finish it last night, but it was like 12 o'clock and I needed to go to bed. <laughs> this is made with some stashed yarn that I've had for at least a year, probably over that. I got it at Joann's. It's over a year because I had it in 2016 when me and Devin went to Gallenberg. I took it with me because I was going to start a project and I did, but I ended up ripping it out. Um, so it's, it's a couple of years old, but, um, it is a cake of sweet roll. I can't remember the name of it because I didn't have the ball band on it, but it's the gray one. It's a sweet roll, premier sweet roll. And so far I have this, it's a cowl. It's got stitch markers on it because that's where I'm going to add something to it in a little bit, but it's ribbed. It's double crochet. You do a roll of double crochet and then a roll of, um, back post double crochet. And that's why it makes it look ribbed like that and I guess you could also you know if you didn't want it to look that way if you wanted to change it up you could just turn it in and it would just look normal <laughs> but I really like these um, colors I love I love every color some days I love dark colors some days I love bright colors but I really like grays and whites and blacks and pinks and everything else I love the colors but um, I thought this would be good to go with my like black hoodie that I wear so uh, yeah it's just a cowl I'll try to put it on without hitting my microphone I like it. I was trying it on um, last night, and I, you know I like it. I like cows. I have found out that I like cows way more than I like scarves because they're they're no maintenance. You just put them on and they stay there. <laughs> but this is a pattern. I forgot to mention that it's called the Riptide Hooded Cow by Melodora's Creations. It's a free pattern, and this is what I got so far. These stitch markers are where I'm going to be adding more yarn. Uh, probably today because <laughs> I want to finish it I like it a lot and double crochet stuff works up so quick that it's it's really fun to make because you know you can whip it out and have the satisfaction of finishing something Stitch markers are marking where I will add more yarn in a little while later today whenever and then that's the rest of the yarn of the first cake I have another cake if I need it because I had two cakes of this color and two cakes of the purple and white color it's like gelato something and um, I wanted to make a blanket with this one, but I would have needed way more cakes. I didn't want to go buy more cakes because Joanne's isn't close to us and I don't like ordering online. But um, so I just decided to make little projects out of them. And then whatever's left out of these two cakes, I can make amigurumis with. Same with the purple ones. But it will be a hooded cowl. I guess I could pop up a picture of what it's going to look like. And it's just going to have, it's just basically going to be a cow with a hood attached to it, which I think is cool because that's one thing I love about cows is because when it's not super cold, but windy, it's good to have one because it covers up the back of your neck, especially if you wear ponytails a lot, which I do and my neck's exposed. So it will keep the back of my neck from being, you know, hit by the wind, um, when I'm not wearing, you know, a hat or something. But yeah, and I'm looking forward to having this finished. Um, this will definitely be finished next week because I'll probably finish it tonight. If you're on the Facebook group, you'll probably see it before the next episode. Making that with an eye hook, my bunny hook. <laughs> I've been using this hook a lot lately. I don't know. I don't know if my camera's going to focus. I'll try. <laughs> I'm not a professional. But yeah. That is all my active whips and all of my um, finished objects. 
So now we're gonna get into the discussion-y part. Let me see if I can find that hook I got for Christmas real fast. It's in here somewhere. Whoopsie. Here it is, my sister got me this. Let me get my notebook up. It's gonna be easier for me. My sister got me this for Christmas. It is a Susan Bates G hook, which I asked her for. I don't know how good you can see it. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. I've got my phone turned around the opposite way. It's a little sheep holding the peppermint candy and wearing a Santa hat. But, um, also real quick while I got it out, I wanna show you something. This is what I do with my stitch markers that I keep, that people give to me and I actually use or some that I've made that I actually use. I have them in my Notions pouch, which is the one that I've made with all my hooks that I use. <laughs> Cause I have a bunch of hooks over there that aren't ones I use. Mostly they're um, boy hooks and I don't use them anymore. But I have all the stitch markers that I love using. Most of them were gifted to me on a giant safety pin. That way they're all contained. But then I can just, you know, if I wanna use my little teapot, I can just take it off. And that's just how I do it to keep them from being lost in my notions pouch so I got them all on a safety pin a big one just down in there and then in this little tiny bag that I got at like Goodwill is where I keep my um, needles for weaving in ends and then I just have all my hooks and a little cheap pair of scissors in there to um, snip ends with and that is the notions pouch that has all the stuff that I use a lot and this is usually with me all the time I can put it in and out of different project bags and depending on what I'm doing so yeah, I love that. That's my system. It works. <laughs> All right, I got a bunch of notes here. Let's see if I can figure them out. There are a few things I want to mention. One is a video will be coming out tomorrow, which is Sunday the 6th, uh, announcing a crochet along that I'm hosting, co-hosting again with Mo from Unseen Strands. I will try to link her below in this video, and she'll definitely be linked below in that video and all the other links um, associated with the crochet along it's gonna be a fun crochet along I'm looking forward to it although in a sense I kind of can't participate in it myself and I'll cover that in that video and also in my girls video that will be coming out later this week another video that will be coming out really soon will be a county fair video one of many <laughs> I'm sure because I will make I've already got a list started of things that I want to make for the fair I've already got a whole list of all the lots that I want to enter so that I can mark them off as I go. And I've already got some ideas of what I'm gonna start making. I'm actually a little behind on schedule. I should already be have that list made. <laughs> but um, I'm go I think I'm gonna have to actually design some stuff this year, uh, wreaths and stuff, because I've already made a bunch of the free ones. And I'm on a, I'm on a yarn and pattern craft, everything craft related band for a little while, just because of goals that we have here at the house. And uh, like I said, a thousand times, I'll mention that in the goals video that will be coming out later this week. But, um, so the first fair video will be me talking about, um, I'm going to mention about how to find about your local fair because I've had a few people ask me, um, and this is for the United States, at least the parts that I've been to that have county fairs. Uh, I don't know how it is in other countries or really either, either other states, but, uh, this is my knowledge of it. It'll be my knowledge of how I go about it. But um, it'll just be all the information about how I uh, go about looking at my fair and what their lots are and all that kind of stuff. And also I'll be talking about all the items that I want to, all the lots that I want to enter. And then there'll be more throughout the year of um, fair videos, you know, updates of finished objects for the fair and all that kind of stuff. And then of course in September when the fair is here, I'll be filming a lot of um, that day of me entering them and then going to see them judged and you know picking them up and all that fun stuff <laughs> another thing you might have noticed is my shirt it says no kitchen name project bags if you're a member of the um no kitchen name crochet and project bags if you're a member of the facebook group you've already seen this this is a shirt that i designed and ordered just for myself just for fun because i wanted my own little shirt to wear and i also ordered a sticker for my car uh just kind of like an advertisement and i'll i'll insert a picture of that if i can remember um I just thought it was neat and I wanted the sticker for my car because if I'm driving around you know we, we travel a lot road trips it'd be like advertisement for the YouTube channel and for my Etsy shop and also if I'm driving around and anybody who watches me sees it they can you know think like oh there's Ellen come talk to me and um, if you ever do see me in public you could totally come up and talk to me I don't mind at all I actually think I was standing in line at Hobby Lobby um, 
Friday or Thursday, I think it was Friday, and um, standing in line at the the material place where they cut the fabric. And this one girl was, you know, they have two tables. So I was standing waiting for my turn to get cut. And then she was standing waiting for her turn to get cut. And she was uh, maybe my age, maybe a little bit older than me. And she kept looking at me and looking back and looking at me and looking back. And I think she might have recognized me from YouTube. I'm not sure. Or maybe she just thought I was. But if that was you and you see me at Hobby Lobby <laughs> waiting to get fabric cut, uh, you could totally come up to me. I don't mind at all. Um, you know, it's... And, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to meet more people and all that stuff. So if you see me in public, come up to me. <laughs> moral moral of the story is just come up and talk to me. Okay, right, there are a few things that I wanted to just mention from other podcasts that I've seen that I thought were awesome ideas and uh, I want to try to do this year. One is from Terry at the Yarn Joy podcast. She um, is making this cake of random scrap yarns and it looks really cool it looks really pretty it would be pretty just sitting around as prettiness but she takes you know any little scrap yarns that she gets certain sizes i imagine not little tiny ones and she knots them together and makes cake out of them and then she's eventually going to make something out of it she said she's gonna make an amigurumi which i think is awesome i think she actually mentioned a bear which i think is a really neat idea and i may start doing that actually um i have a scrap box over there of like the balls that's left over like the size and smaller um but most of that gets taken by the little girl that I babysit, Kat. She, when she comes over, she ends up going through that and taking it off and, you know, making stuff with it, which is fine. But I may start saving it um, to make a cake like that with, because I think it'd be so cool to make uh, a scrap, something like that. And it'd just be random and, you know, neat. Just, I like random stuff. So I think it'd be cool. So I've seen that on Terry's channel. And if you want to see that, uh, I'll link her channel below and you can check it out. Another channel that I saw a cool idea from was Kayla at Llama Mama. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I always forget how to say everybody's channel names. But she um, she's wanting to do a, a hashtag or weekly thing of like hashtag finish it Friday. And it is what she did. She has a cabinet with her yarn in it. She's a luminary, by the way, but it's still really cool to watch. And she watches all of us because, you know, it's yarn. It's still fun to watch. I watch knitting podcasts and I don't knit. But anyways, and I watch her and she, I don't loom knit. <laughs> but um, she has a cabinet with all her yarn in it. And what she did is she took a big bin of all of her unfinished objects and set in front of it. So that every time she wants to get yarn, she has to think about it. She has to stop and be like, well, I can either move all this stuff and get yarn and make a new project or I can grab something out of this bin and finish something that's been sitting there forever and I thought that was the neatest idea I don't personally have a bunch of unfinished objects I actually only have one major one I'm trying to think yeah one major one because I frogged all the other ones and that's a Santa Claus that I need to finish really bad I started it last year early last year and I never finished it <laughs> he's almost done all he needs is his face his hair and his hat and uh, I need to do the same thing with him. I need to get him down and finish him. But if I had a bunch of unfinished objects, I would totally do that. My yarn's kind of exposed. But I think that was just such, such a neat idea that she's, like, blocking herself and um, having to make herself think, you know, well, do I really want to move all that stuff or I just want to grab something and work on it right now. Because, you know, most of the time if she's, you know, not wanting, in the mood to move a bunch of stuff, she's just going to grab something and finish it. And eventually, you know, it'll all be gone and she can start all kinds of new projects and start all over again. <laughs> but I just thought that was a neat idea and worth mentioning in case someone out there wanted to do that. And also I will link her channel below too if you want to check her out. I think that's about all the randomness that I wanted to talk about. I have a notebook here that I have just been jotting down all kinds of notes i've been watching everybody's um goals videos getting ideas of what i want to do this year and i've got a whole list of them here so that i can film that i've got stuff about that crochet along i've got future giveaway stuff i've just got all kinds of random stuff written down so um i think that's all the randomness oh i do want to mention one thing my shop my etsy shop will be updated next weekend let me see what the date is the date is the 12th, Saturday the 12th, is when I will update it, I think. Probably, I'll probably start that Friday. I got all the material right here cut out. I haven't started sewing yet. I'm actually going to, oh, God, it's heavy. I'm going to start sewing probably tonight. Let's see, let's get all the Notion pouch out of the way. All right. So these are the prints that will be in the shop Saturday, January 12th. <laughs> 
and let's see here, I'll have four of these project bag sets, some mermaids, they'll come with a notion pouch. I'll only have one of these because I'm actually making another one for someone else. It's just a valentine, it's heart and it will have um, this liner, that'll be the liner. I thought that was really cute for Valentine's Day. And then the mermaids, let me show you their liner. I love the liner to the mermaids. It looks like scales. I think that's so pretty. They go perfect together. They were meant to go together. <laughs> and then there will be two sets of unicorn um, bags. <laughs> this is going to be the liner and this will be the outside. And then there's going to be two sets of these flowery ones with the birds on it. Oh, that was pretty. And it's just going to have like a yellow, gold, yellow inside. And then there will be two sets of sugar skulls, which are really popular. I've noticed a lot of people love sugar skulls. They will also have the yellow insides. And then my favorite, <laughs> there will be four Project Bag and Notion Pouch sets of, I think these are llamas, I'm not sure. I know llamas have the big ears and are bigger, but I can't tell if these have banana ears or not. These are either llamas or alpacas, but either way they're adorable. <laughs> and there'll be four sets of those and they will have a pretty blue inside. And these will be pro drawstring project bags. Some of them will be box bottoms. Some of them will be just sacks. And then they'll have matching zipper notion pouches. And they'll be together in a set. They will be for sale for $28 a set, which is pretty good, plus shipping. Ugh, it's heavy. Here's all the notion pouches cut out in the drawstring casings. <laughs> got it all cut out yesterday. It took me a couple hours, but I got it. So those will be up in the shop next week. I'll be working on them all this week. Next week in is when they'll be up, the 12th for sure. Probably the Friday though, because I'll probably get it done and start putting them in uh, before that. And they'll have uh, zipper pouches, I already said that, yeah. And they'll have drawstrings, probably most of them will be white because most of those will go better with white. Oh, my neighbors are making noise. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're interested in that, uh, the Etsy shop is still on vacation mode right now. It won't be open until then. But if you want to go to Etsy right now, my link is below and you can uh, favorite the shop. And then when I update it, you'll get a notification. And if you want an early notification without favoriting the shop, you should go join the Facebook group because I always post there first when I update the shop before I put it in a video. For instance, Saturday is when I will film my next No Catch Name episode. So the bags will already be in the shop by the time I film. So I'll mention it in that video and I might show some, but some of them may already be spoken for. So if there's a certain print that you're really wanting, uh, I would favorite the shop on Etsy or go to the Facebook group and join it so that you can get early notifications of when they're done. But yeah, so I think that is everything I wanted to mention right now. I've got to hop off here and immediately go back into filming. I got to film the cow video and my goals video so I can get them edited and up. And yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and would like to, click the button and hit the little bell so you can get notifications when I upload. If you think someone else would like the video, share it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.